In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed your Instagram videos on your WordPress website in beautiful feeds like this. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. I'm going to demonstrate using the pro version of the plugin, but if you want to check out the free version with less features, you can do so through the WordPress repository. To purchase and download Instagram Feed Pro, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now on your dashboard, on the left-hand side, hover over plugins and click on Add New. Then go and click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Instagram Feed Pro like this and click Install Now. Once installed, click on Activate Plugin. And there we go, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can create our Instagram Videos feed, we'll have to activate the license key for the plugin. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice Instagram Feed. Hover over it like this and click on Settings. And now inside the Settings menu, beside License Key, we can paste our license key from our Smash Balloon account like this and click activate. And as you can see, our license key has now been activated and we can begin creating our feed. Once again, on the left hand side under Instagram feed, click on all feeds. Then go and click on add new at the top to get started. With Instagram feed pro, you can create several different feed types. For example, you can create a feed of posts from any user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, and a feed of posts that you are tagged in as well. For this video, we're gonna go with the user timeline option and that's already selected for us here. So we can go click on next. And now we'll have to add a source for our Instagram feed. Go and click on add source. Next, we'll have to specify our source type. If you have a personal Instagram account, click on personal. And if you have a business Instagram account, go ahead with business. The account I'll be demonstrating within this video is a business account. So I'm gonna click on business, and then it's asking us if we've connected Facebook with our plugin before. I'm gonna click on no. Then I'm gonna click on connect with Facebook. This will take you inside Facebook and you should see all the Instagram accounts connected with your Facebook account. Go ahead and select the one you wanna display inside your Instagram feed and click on next. Then you'll have to do the same thing for the Facebook page associated with that Instagram account. Select it like this and click next. And on this screen, it's asking for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Instagram and Facebook accounts. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but they won't be able to make any changes or posts on our behalf. This is completely safe. Go click on done, then click on okay. And finally, we'll get a security confirmation here asking you to confirm if this is your domain. Go ahead and click yes, it's my domain. This will take you back to the plugin and inside this pop-up here, you should see all the Instagram accounts we've connected with the plugin. Go ahead and select the one you want to display inside your feed and click add. Then you can select it as a source and click next. And for our next step, we'll have to select the theme for the appearance of our Instagram feed. We have options like the default, modern, social wall, outline, and overlap. For this video, let's select the modern theme and click next. And lastly, we'll have to select from one of these templates for the layout of our Instagram feed. As you can see, we have options like the default, simple grid, simple grid Excel, and more. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna select the simple carousel and click on next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our new Instagram feed directly inside the plugin. And as you can see inside this feed, we have all the latest posts from the Instagram account that we connected inside this carousel layout. So site visitors can go interact with your feed by swiping through the posts like this. But at the moment, it's displaying all different post types inside our feed, including photos, and videos. But for this tutorial, I want to only display the videos from our Instagram page. And to do that, we'll have to add a filter to this feed. To do so, click on the settings tab, then go to filters and moderation. Inside, you'll find different settings to moderate and filter the content inside your feed. But the options we're looking for are show specific types of posts. And as you can see, we've currently got photos, feed videos, and reels selected. Since we only want to display videos inside this feed, let's go and deselect photos. And you should see that change made instantly inside the live preview. All the photos have now disappeared and our feed is only displaying the videos from our Instagram page. And once those filters have been added, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. Our Instagram videos feed is now ready to be embedded inside our WordPress webpage. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize it. On the left-hand side under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Inside, you'll find different options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. Currently, we have the Carousel Layout selected, which as I mentioned before, allows you to swipe through your content like this by clicking on the buttons. Above that, we also have a Grid Layout, which displays your Instagram videos in rows and columns like this. Our third option is the Masonry Layout, which displays your Instagram videos in their original sizes in rows and columns once again. And lastly, we have the Highlight Layout, which highlights your latest posts at the top in a larger thumbnail, followed by the rest of the videos in rows and columns. For this video, we're going to continue with the carousel layout. And if I scroll down below, we have even more options to modify our Instagram feed. At the top, you can choose to show or hide certain elements inside your feed, like the navigation arrows you see on the left and right, as well as the pagination dots at the bottom. If you want to hide any of these elements, all you have to do is deselect it like this. And instantly inside the live preview, you can see that those have now been hidden. To bring them back, all you have to do is select it like this. And you can also choose to enable autoplay, which automatically swipes through the videos inside your carousel, just like this. I'm going to disable that for this video. And if you look below that, you can also choose how many posts you display inside your feed. Currently, it's specified 12 posts on desktop, but if you want to change this, all you have to do is specify the number of posts you want to display, just like this. And as you can see, the change has been made instantly inside the live preview. I'm going to change that back to 12. And lastly, at the bottom, you can also choose how many columns you display inside your feed as well. Currently, we've got four columns selected, 
but if you want to change this, all you have to do is open it up and select the number of columns you want to display. And there we go. Once again, you can see that change made inside the preview. Once you're happy with the layout of your Instagram feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Instagram feed, on the left hand side under the customize tab, click on color scheme. Currently, you can see that it's set to inherit from theme, which means that the plugin automatically matches the design of your WordPress theme. Next, we have a light theme, a dark theme, or even a custom theme, which allows you to select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. And once you've found a color scheme you're happy with, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the header on your Instagram feed, on the left hand side once again, click on header. And inside, you can see we have several different header styles you can choose from. Currently, we have the text header selected, which allows you to customize the header text at the bottom here. Other than that, we have a centered style, box style, and even a standard style, which includes your Instagram profile picture, Instagram handle, Instagram bio, number of posts, and number of followers as well. For this video, we're going to continue with the text header, and I'm just going to modify the text at the bottom here. I'm just going to change it to this, our latest reels. And once you're happy with the header of your Instagram feed, click on save on the top right corner. And lastly, if you want to moderate and filter the content inside your Instagram feed, let's go to the settings tab once again and click on filters and moderation. Previously, I showed you how we can select the different post types. But let me show you what other features are available inside this menu. If we go into moderate your feed and enable it, you can see that moderation mode has been enabled. The plugin gives you two options to use this mode, with the allow list and the block list. With the allow list, all the posts inside your feed will be hidden by default, apart from the ones you choose to manually allow on your feed like this. Next, with the block list, all your posts will be displayed by default, apart from the ones you manually choose to hide like this. And below that, you can also enter specific post IDs to hide those posts manually on your feed as well. I'm going to disable moderation mode. And if I go back into filters and moderation, and under filters, you can add words to hide or show posts containing those filters. With these filters and moderation options, you have complete control over the content you display inside your Instagram feed. And if you've added any new filters, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Instagram videos feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress webpage. To do this, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click on add. Now, here we are on our WordPress webpage and to embed our Instagram feed, you have two different options. First option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode you copied like this. Alternatively, if you're using block editor, you can use our dedicated Instagram feed block like this. With this option, you'll get a live preview of your Instagram feed directly inside your WordPress webpage. Now let's click on update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are on a live WordPress webpage and right in the middle of our webpage, we have our brand new Instagram videos feed. All the latest videos from our Instagram feed are displayed inside this carousel layout, which you can swipe through like this. And the feed is also created in the exact theme and template that we specified as well. At the bottom of each post, you can find the number of likes, comments, and a button to visit the page on Instagram. And if a site visitor wants to check out any of these posts, they can click on the video like this, and the video will automatically start playing directly inside your WordPress webpage. And if you're wondering if we can embed our Instagram feed inside the sidebar or footer of our website, we definitely can. Let me show you how. And here we are back inside the plugin, and I've just created a second version of our feed to fit inside the footer of our website. To embed this feed inside the footer, go click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode once again, and instead of clicking on add to a page, click on add to a widget. This takes us into the WordPress widgets menu. And for this example, I want to embed this Instagram feed inside the footer of our website. So we can open up our footer here, and to embed our feed inside the footer, we have the same two options as before. We can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we copied earlier, or we can use our dedicated Instagram feed block as well. With this option, once again, you'll see a live preview of your Instagram feed directly inside the footer widget. I'm going to move this up, then I can click on update, and we can go check out how it looks like on the live WordPress webpage. And here we are back inside our WordPress webpage, and right in the middle, we have that Instagram feed we created earlier in a carousel layout with swipeable posts like this. And now if I scroll down all the way to the footer, we have our second Instagram feed right here, once again displaying all the latest videos from our Instagram account. But this time it's in a different layout and it's sitting inside the footer of our website. And just like the first one, site visitors can click on any video on this feed to view it directly inside your WordPress webpage. So you now know how to embed your Instagram content both on your WordPress webpage and inside the footer of your website as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact your awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.